Well, welcome back to the workshop. It's been a couple of months since I've done a solar slash battery video, and that's because I was waiting on these batteries. Uh, I ordered them in July, and they just came today. Um, so shipping is becoming a huge problem. Um, speaking of problem, um, these batteries that just arrived um, are all swollen. I contacted the manufacturer and uh, they said that this type of cell, CATL, uh, which I've never used before, uh, they said it's common for them to be swollen. So if anyone's ever used these, uh, that sounds like bullshit to me, but because I've never used them, let me know if anyone has any experience with them. You know, they came at 3-2, all about the same state of charge and they seem to be charging okay. That just seemed a little bit odd though that they were swollen at um, a low state of charge. So I'm a little uh, concerned about that. So um, let's see what else is going on. So I got a little bit of an update over here. Not much of an update, but um, I switched out my other batteries that were over here. I'm gonna be putting them in a, a new system. And over here, I have my Lita Kala, which are kind of crappy, but uh, you know, for a third the price you get 95%. So I don't know, in a way they're not crappy. So I've actually, I'm using them in my workshop system here. It's just two 100 amp hour batteries. Maybe the 200 amp hour batteries, I can't remember. But of course they're just 12 volt. And um, they're in parallel. So maybe it's 200 amp batteries or 200 amp hours. I'll put a note of that because I can't remember. But uh, that's an update for here. Uh, that's the latest on this. Uh, but my biggest thing is these batteries. I mean, I was, I've been loving this, so I was considering, you know, making batteries, buying these cells, buying the BMSs, um, and selling these things. But well, I just can't get consistent quality. The shipping has been a nightmare. You know, two, three months, uh, and then you know you get these batteries in, and you know they just, they just feel cheap. Uh, I hate to say this, but you know these, Lita Cala ones are. Have, even though they got a reputation of not being that great, they've been some of the better batteries I've bought. I think my favorite have been the Eve batteries. I have those in my my um, off-grid garage, 280 amp hour ones, and they've been fine. Um, these, all these were, um, I think these are all Liston, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, 200 amp hours, and uh, they're okay. Um, I don't like the lugs on some of these. Um, the lugs, um, they're not like this, or, you know, they're a set post. These, you got to put the post in, and I've actually stripped one out. I think it's back here. So that was a little bit of a, of a pisser for me. So yeah, the eaves have been great. The Lita Kala have been actually pretty good. And then these things were supposedly supposed to be great, but, you know, I mean, come on, swollen at 3.2? Please, that's just terrible. But anyway, so I was um, considering, you know, making, buying all this stuff and making batteries. I've got a, a pile of uh, BMSs over here because uh, I've been enjoying this so much. But I'm telling you that you can't get good, consistent quality and you can't get it in a timely manner. So all these smaller battery companies that are struggling, that are always sold out, that have production problems. I get it now. I mean, I have, I don't know, maybe 24 maybe 36 batteries all together. And you know, it's just been a struggle to, to get these guys. So um, that's the update for today. But if anyone has used these batteries before, these cells, these CATL, I think that's what they're called. If anyone's ever used them, and uh, if you have noticed swelling issues, uh, let me know. I've contacted my vendor and said, look, you know, they're swollen. And again, they said that, you know, that's common, which again, I think is kind of bullshit, but. Um, I emailed them back, said, well, you know, what should I do? Should I compress them, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see what they have to say about all that. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get a refund or something because they, they they look, um, you know, it's bordering on dangerous here. So uh, I don't know, that's, uh, that's where I'm at for today. Uh, I am going to put all of these in a new system. So we'll be showing this. I think it's going to be a 24 volt system. And then a little 12 volt system because I have five batteries. So we got a new RV. We'll be setting that up and I'll be uh, switching out those 280s 
and putting in these. So lots of new stuff coming soon. And I'll be talking about all my solar panels that I got. I've got 26 panels now, 24, bunch of panels. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to everyone later.